Okay, uh, so we will see the function first, and then uh, we can uh, go to that question, right? Okay, number one, uh, digest food particles received by phagocytosis. Let's see uh, how it's how it's happening, right? Now, uh, the space because of the space, uh, I'm going to uh, show like this. This may be the uh, nucleus site. And this may be the cell membrane. This is the cell membrane, right? Now, certain circumstances, our body is uh, infected or invaded, attacked by the pathogen. So what are pathogen? Pathogens are microorganisms. This is causing agents. They are very small, we can't see by eye, like bacteria. So we get the bacteria to our body or maybe virus. So when we get bacteria or virus, we have a defense system. This defense system is called immune system. So immune system. So immune system has so much of uh, weapons to use uh, to remove this pathogen. Uh, immunity, we're going to learn unit five. Then you'll see all the component of the immune system. But there's a one uh, method of killing the pathogen, such as bacteria is like this. So, uh, so the red color one is the bacteria. So bacteria prokaryotes, you can see they are smaller than the eukaryotic cells because we are showing the part of the nucleus and the cell membrane and they are very small. Right now, uh, the cell membrane is this one. So the cell membrane can make a, a small projections like this to the outside. It's an extension of the cell membrane. Now, if you recall, how can cell membrane extend like this? How can it can make this kind of arms like this? Remember, it's, it's a fluidic, cell membrane has a fluidic nature. It's like a fluid-like thing. Now you can understand, ah, okay, the fluid-like things, fluid can a little bit move forward, it's fluidic. And finally, uh, this end and this end are fused like this. Now, I, I don't have a good eraser because if I erase, then I think everything uh, is gone. So, okay, then, uh, this is again a part of the cell now. This is inside now. So after that, this one is taken to in. So I draw now uh, how it looks like. The bacteria is inside the cell now. So it is covered with the part of the cell membrane like this. So we're going to learn uh, in uh, detail the process of phagocytosis. This is called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis, the, the, the normal meaning is eating the particles, eating particles, so they take in. And now the function of lysosome, lysosome uh, coming to this place and lysosome also fuse with this. So that's the enzyme of lysosome. And this is enzyme. Then at the end, uh, this is a one unit, right? So here, that's a, and this together, it make a one unit covered with the cell membrane. It's everything is covered with the cell membrane, right? The red color on the thick layer, I'm showing the membrane. So it's a membrane, this one. Now what happened after that? The enzymes release to the bacteria. 
Then the enzyme is going to digest the bacterial components. It can digest the protein. It can digest the cell wall of bacteria. And then bacteria is destroyed. And you will see, we have to learn another lesson down here that is called vacuoles. What are vacuoles? And under that, there are three types of vacuoles you're going to learn. Right? It's a, uh, one is a permanent vacuole, other one is contractile vacuole, third one is a food vacuole. This is also considered as a food vacuole. So this structure is also considered as food vacuoles. So that is the process of phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is take external particles such as bacteria into the cells and lysosome fuse, secrete enzyme and digest the particle. So that's the function, digest food particles received by phagocytosis. That's the number one function. Uh, this one is quite okay because we're going to learn in detail uh, in the immunity. So you don't want to worry too much uh, what is this phagocytosis and how this happened. It's just simply uh, taking uh, particles into the cells, make a vesicles, and the lysosome can digest it. Because in the exam, the st structured, we, we, there's a uh, structured question mention uh, uh, two function of this uh, sub uh, structure, the subcellular organ. Then you have one is a digest food particle received by phagocytosis. You get one mark. You don't want to describe in detail. It's a structured question. Just write it down. But now you know what is phagocytosis. Again, uh, breakdown digestion of material from inside the cell. A little bit similar. But this time, it's inside of the cell. That means uh, there is no uh, external things. The nucleus is here, same. Uh, that's a cell membrane. And this is the lysosome with its enzyme. Right, uh, there are some uh, components can be recycled. We are not going to learn too much detail when, where, why, how, like that. Let's, let's assume there is a protein. This protein is uh, not properly functioning. After it's synthesized, the protein is not properly functioning. Now, what is the uh, fu function of cells? Do, this, it's it's uh, not uh, correct that cell keep this non-functional protein. Cell doesn't want to keep a non-functional protein, so they can break down again into amino acid, right? So then uh, this protein digested by this enzyme and uh, break down into amino acid. Cell can use this amino acid again. So same thing, but it, uh, the difference is inside. Breakdown, it's called digestion of materials from inside the cell. That's a second function. Third one, uh, transport residual material out of the cell by exocytosis. What is residual material? Now imagine uh, some of the components of this uh, bacteria cannot be used by the cell because they are different uh, material. So after digestion of the bacteria, they have a different material. So this material again, uh, packed, transport residual material. Residual residue material is a leftover. So we can consider third function is a part of the phagocytosis process. So then it, uh, it just packed into a residual material. Now here the residual material. So this is the residual material. And then uh, 
it can uh, fuse with the cell membrane like this. That's a cell membrane. And now uh, this material release out of the cells. So that is called exocytosis. The meaning of exocytosis is a transport of transport of material, right? So transport of material. Uh, okay, just right here. Transport of materials. So the difference is they are not single molecule. They're not single molecule. So it's a bulk, right? Bulk mean uh, many things. Transport of material out of the cell. It's exocytosis. We will learn uh, in the future transport, the, what are the transport method of a cell, like you know, you know osmosis, you know diffusion, you know active transport. See that these are the transport system. So exocytosis is another special transport system. The difference is uh, they use a bulk material because osmosis, it's a one water molecule. Diffusion, one molecule of glucose. Exocytosis, it's going out of the cells, but bulk, it's a collection of material. So exocytosis is transfer of material out of the cells. So that's a third one. So the fourth one is uh, again uh, similar to the second one, uh, bone, uh, digest bone of organelle. So here I mentioned proteins, this case the small organelles, which is uh, not, cannot be used same way lysosome digest and then release out of the cells. Right, if you need uh, this document, I can uh, save and send later on. If you miss something, uh, you can have it. And now, uh, if you look now, the if you have this uh, resource book, check it out. Uh, these are listed and you well understood now what are these things. And you can, if you look this kind of a document, you can remember well. Rather having a crowded text, difficult to remember, but when you make it, you can uh, have. Okay, so can you send uh, number one? I'm not going to uh, always expecting correct answer. I told you the purpose of uh, having question. Purpose of uh, having question is when I uh, when I teach uh, a lesson that. Uh, I teach everything that you can answer exam question. I don't uh, teach too much. I don't teach too less. Because certain topics are very interesting. I can spend the time uh, telling and you're also interested, you can listen to that. But at the end, uh, we lose time. So send the answer for this question. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Wrong answer, right? You need to find the wrong answer, which is wrong about lysosome. So we learn lysosome. Okay, I got the uh, correct answers. Others can also try. If you send the answer, whether right or wrong, it's important uh, for me to uh, understand 
where uh, are you like whether you are aware of things uh, you understood the lesson and you have enough uh, information so you can also uh, take maybe a time if you don't uh, remember everything you can check the notes what is uh, is it correct this one is correct like that and you can send the answer Okay, for uh, this up. can you send the answer? You can use the chat, the uh, Zoom chat. Then you can uh, send through the Zoom chat. Just number is fine. Good, I think uh, uh, appreciate that when you respond, because I can, uh, if you, let's say if everybody is uh, sending the right answer, then uh, what should I tell? Because you all got the correct answer, but at least uh, someone uh, could, couldn't find the answer, then I should uh, help that student to make it next time correctly, right? Okay, uh, in exam, uh, you had to be extremely careful when you ask to find the incorrect answer. So it's uh, highlighted the bold, incorrect, the wrong answer. Because uh, when you have uh, five choices to find the wrong answer, it's not that easy. Because it's uh, many things are correct. Like four may be correct, then only one slight different uh, things you had to spot. But one hand, this question is easy compared to the other question because the wrong point is it's a the wrong point is very uh, strongly uh, we know it very strongly we know the wrong point right. Um, we learn uh, one of the function of Golgi uh, out of three functions. One is it produced uh, from the Golgi. So derived is the word derived use born, like the literal meaning is it came it born from the Golgi complex. So it, it is lysosomes are synthesized in the Golgi complex. The same meaning is here. They are derived from Golgi complex. Okay, the next one, uh, they are double membrane bound organelles. So double membrane bound organelles, that means it has one membrane and it has another membrane. The membrane, right? The membrane refers to the cell membrane, a plasma membrane. The plasma membrane is bilayer. That's a different story. That means two phospholipid layers make the plasma membrane. And two membranes joined together, we call double membrane. The meaning of double membrane is two membranes, two plasma membrane coming to make the structure. So we have learned the previous, I mean, uh, we haven't learned yet some of the structures. Uh, we learn uh, nucleus is double membrane. And we learn, uh, we're going to learn uh, chloroplast has two membrane and uh, mitochondria. So number one, two and three. These three uh, subcellular structures or organelles, they have two membranes. So then it doesn't fit to our theory. A lysosome, uh, we didn't say they have two membranes. 
which is as a single membrane. So then uh, we can accept uh, this is incorrect. But for learning purpose, we learn other things. They contain a uh, different type of digestive enzyme. You can understand this one. Uh, enzyme you haven't learned yet. One enzyme can uh, digest one molecule. One enzyme can digest one molecule because you're going to learn enzyme are specific. So if a bacteria, bacteria cell is made out of different, different proteins, then it needs different enzyme. So that's correct, right? So enzymes, I said it's packed with enzymes. It's packed with enzymes and there are many different enzymes. Uh, we also mentioned the help in recycling cellular material. Remember this one, second one, if the protein uh, inside the cell organelles, uh, fourth point, uh, they are not, in, not usable, then they digest, then it's a uh, use again, it's called recycling. The fifth one, they are found only in eukaryotic. We haven't learned uh, uh, prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotes, they don't have a membrane bound organelle. So we have to remember this sentence, right? We, we are, I said uh, uh, we cannot compare prokaryotic and eukaryote cell from the beginning because you haven't learned all the organelles. You haven't learned all the structures. And I said we're going to compare prokaryotes and eukaryotes at the end. So prokaryotes. But I mentioned prokaryotes are um, uh, the, the cell which do not have a nucleus. That's a general uh, guidelines to uh, define prokaryotes. Prokaryotes, they don't have a nucleus. Example, bacteria. And another thing is they don't have, don't have membrane bound organelles. They don't have membrane bound organelles. Remember very strongly this sentence, prokaryotes do not have membrane bound organelles. So many things we're learning, they have a membrane, except ribosome. Ribosome we learn, it doesn't have a membrane. So prokaryotes have ribosome, but they don't have membrane bound organelles. So then uh, they are found in eukaryotic cells. So we can take the fifth one, uh, it's also correct. And uh, what I said, uh, uh, easy, the easiness of the question is double membrane. So we can remember these three subcellular compartment organelles have double membrane. Uh, fourth one, right, again, uh, now, uh, I just uh, request to explain the fourth one again. Now, recycling. So meaning of recycling is we use it again. We use it, let's say you have a bag. Uh, this bag is eco-friendly. So you are not throwing this bag. You use again and again to carry stuff from the supermarket. Now, uh, cell has so much of material. It, it's a fantastic thing is cell is also recycling so many things. They are not removing if it is usable. If things are usable, they are not removing out. They used it. So cell also have recycling capacity. For example, I said uh, some subcellular organelles, they come to certain uh, age, they're not uh, functioning properly. If they are not functioning properly, they digest and the uh, protein used by the cell again. If there's a protein in the cells, which is not working properly, the protein uh, digest by the lysosome and the amino acid is recycled. Amino acid can be recycled. So they can make a new protein again. So cellular material is what is inside the cells, example proteins. I think uh, that we explain under here, uh, number two, uh, break down uh, digestion of material from inside the cells. This one is for the recycling. Number two is for the recycling purpose. So we can recycle. So you can add if you want here. 
then it can uh, recycle. Cells can recycle material. Don't worry too much uh, if you miss the answer at this point, because it's a learning purpose we are doing. So maybe uh, very close to the exam, if you miss uh, answers, then you have to worry, but not at this moment, right? It just to practice, right? Now, I, I told you, uh, you should understand, you might be able to uh, list all the factors. Ah, Golgi is like this, it has three, three factors, this, this, this. But questions are come not like, uh, always like a structured question, it's easy that list three function, then you write it. But MCQ, you have 50% uh, of marks coming in your exam. They are quite complex. So you, you have to get your knowledge from different places to find the answer. So don't worry, you're going to practice. Practice make perfect. First you learn, then we practice. After practicing, uh, you will be perfect. If you don't practice, I think uh, it's very difficult to get a good answer, right? Okay, uh, I think I want to show you a, a few things. Again, revise, cell theory, uh, uh, Matthias, 19, uh, sorry, 1838, 1839, uh, Schwannen, 1857, uh, Virchow. They proposed, uh, uh, he proposed all uh, uh, all uh, plants are made out of cells. Schwannen proposed all animals are made out of cells. Uh, Virchow said uh, cell coming from pre-existing cell. So then uh, cell theory, uh, we have a cell theory. Cell theory is slightly different what they proposed. One is uh, all organisms are made out of cells. Cells are basic structural and functional unit of the living uh, is structural functional unit, living unit and cells arise from pre-existing cells. Now you see, uh, this, this is a summary, so that you have to practice the summary. So it's like a, sometimes like a, a drama, that you have to practice the, the dialogue in the drama, uh, then it's everything is your head, you can remember. So certain cases in biology, we have to uh, practice, practice to remember these things, right? Uh, we learn uh, uh, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, but I said, we're going to compare at the end all the structures. Basically, prokaryotes, they don't have a nucleus, but eukaryotes, they have a nucleus. And uh, I just want to show this one again to remember. Between the uh, this is actually the cell membrane. So what is important to remember the fluidity. So this is the phospholipid. You see the uh, first layer is the phospholipid bilayer and second is phospholipid bilayer. I just want to remember the nature of the cell membrane. They are fluidic like this. You see, they're moving. It's movable, it's fluidic. And uh, proteins are embedded at different, different locations. Here are the proteins, yeah, like this. You can see the protein molecules are embedded like patchwork. It's called fluid mosaic model. So how you see proteins on the membrane? You see, it's like a water layer. They are moving, and the phospholipid and also protein can also float uh, on this layer. And I just uh, revising things until you get better understanding, right? Uh, nucleus appearance we learn, and it has uh, four, five functions. Uh, that means control of cell activity, make DNA, synthesize DNA, synthesize RNA, tRNA, mRNA. Our RNA, we learn these three types of RNA molecules and also store genetic material. Ribosome, we learn endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And I just want to show the difference between SCR and RER. A plant cell similarly to an animal cell contains a cell nucleus in which genetic material is stored in the form of dna inside the cell nucleus there okay uh, this uh, nucleus uh, 
Right. I just want to uh, show you this rough endoplasmic reticulum, right? Now, the rough endoplasmic reticulum make the sheets like this. SCR, smooth endoplasmic reticulum makes cylinders like this. And they're very close to the nucleus. Okay, uh, we come into the lessons again. I think the last one uh, of the lysosome, right? So lysosome functions are digest uh, foreign things coming to the cells, phagocytosis, digest uh, inside the cells things. That is a, that could be a, a small protein or maybe organelles, and they can recycle it. And the, third, the, the one they can also release out material which do not want to keep. And the last thing is called autolysis. Okay, what is autolysis? Auto is uh, uh, it just uh, not really a control process. It's happening uh, automatically. So it just uh, very uh, like if something is very much controlled, then it has a, a program to do this. But auto mean without any uh, special control, it just happened. Lysis is breaking or digestion. Autolysis causing cell death. So as people die, animals die, organism die, uh, cell also has uh, death. Cell is dying. So this cell die, cell death is called or, or the autolysis. Let's say this is the cell. So for the survival of these cells, it needs uh, oxygen. Number one is oxygen. Number two, nutrition like glucose. But there are many other things it needs. Not only oxygen and glucose. If you don't get an impression that oxygen is the only glucose getting the cell back, there's no many other things need for the cells. Imagine uh, uh, a situation that this cell does not get oxygen and glucose. So how it comes? It comes through the blood. So I'm showing a blood vessel like this. So blood vessel bring this oxygen and glucose to the cell and waste product taking out of the cells. So we just cut this blood supply. We can cut the blood supply. Example, uh, we damage our uh, skin or muscles. There is a wound. When there is a wound, you know, uh, you get bleeding. At that time, uh, blood is not coming to that place. There are some cells, they cannot get the blood. So then cell die. So no blood, no oxygen, no nutrients, cell die. So this is controlled by the lysosome. So lysosomes, these two lysosome example, this time is a little bit of different. They release the enzymes out of the out of the lysosome. So the, the structure is here and they release the enzymes out of the cells, out of the lysosome. Enzyme is going out of the lys lysosome. It's not uh, well programmed. Like if you look at this place, you see uh, the first function phagocytosis. I clearly uh, uh, separate from the other part of the cell. It has a membrane around it. So the enzyme is not going out. If enzyme can going out, they can also digest uh, uh, other other cellular compartments. So enzyme is completely uh, stay inside this structure. It's not going out. Now I have a question uh, for you to find uh, when you have a time. So you could uh, ask me, say so why then? Uh, if they have an enzyme, why uh, this enzyme uh, not digest the lysosome? How can enzyme uh, 
not digest in the lysosome. How lysosome survive? Because it packs this enzyme. This enzyme can digest the lysosome. Because if the enzyme going out of the cells, out of the lysosome, it can digest the cell. Then why uh, lysosome is not digesting? Okay, uh, I'm not going to ask the answer. It's a curiosity for you. Uh, you had to find it. Why uh, lysosome uh, is not digested by its own enzyme? Right, uh, that's the last thing. Cell death. When uh, cell uh, situation, the cell cannot survive, and the lysosome comes, lysosome release enzyme, the enzyme can digest the, the whole cell. 